Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this video we will learn how to populate our scenes with the new scatter feature. Let's begin by creating a grain source object from our sources library. Let's create a default scatter modifier. Let's select the scene's floor and take a look at its dimensions. The floor is about 4 square meters. We intend to populate the floor with tiny particles, so such large floor will cause an unnecessarily intensive RAM usage. To avoid this we may scale the floor down until it's just about enough centimeters to exceed the camera frame. Do not forget to reset X form or reset scale for scatter to be aware of the new dimensions. 70 cm is a more reasonable side length in this case. Alternatively you may create a plane primitive and specify its dimensions directly. Either way we will drop the scatter node on the plane. We will plug the grain as the source and adjust the scatter's attributes aiming at many very little particles. We may want to adjust the overall scale and density. It is good practice to keep the counters panel open to make sure that we don't overflow the RAM of our GPU. We will also edit the translation range to simulate vertical grain stacking. By cranking up the maximum Z value you may even submerge the subjects in the body of grains. As this is the scatter look we were after. Let's now apply a metallic material to the source. We may also plug a color gun to the newly created material to randomize its color easily. Let's add a spotlight and we're done. In the scatters library you will find some pre-made grain setups. Let's try some to see what they look like. In this second part of the video we will work on a scatter setup with some models downloaded from Sketchfab. Here we have a fantastic set of low poly rocks, ideal for scattering. A link to these models and due credit to the author are given in the description of this video. Let's download the GLTF file and use the Merge Sketchfab button in the Maverick toolbar. We will as usual make sure that the scale is right and skip merging of cameras. This model carries a good bunch of textures, so it will take a few seconds to import. As you can see the rocks and their materials imported seamlessly in Maverick. Let's pick a subset of rocks for our scatter practice. We will ungroup these to take them out of the grouping created by the Sketchfab importer. Now let's discard the other rocks in one shot by deleting the imported group and its children. Keep in mind that you can purge unused materials and maps from the materials panel. After deleting most of the rocks there are plenty of unused materials and purging those will greatly free up your GPU RAM.
Let's now drop a scatter node on the plane primitive. We will enable all the sources and plug the first one. We make some adjustments. Enable the other rocks. And keep on playing with the scatter attributes until we're happy with the result. We will for example experiment with rotations and collisions. We will increase Z translation to give more depth to the bed of rocks. We may shift the base plane up and down as well. In globals we will enable keep aspect to get a proper preview of the final composition of our camera shot. Then in the rock materials we will plug colorgan nodes so we can subtly variate their color. An in-depth review of this process can be found in our introduction to scatter video. Once we're happy with the variations in the source materials we will try some randomization seeds until we find a population we really like. Let's create a spotlight and drop a gradient light from the lights library. As usual we will do some final touch-ups from the light mixer panel before consolidating to the scene. From the tone map panel we will enable vignetting to better focus the subject in the image. You may find this scene in the list of sample scenes installed by Maverick from the start panel. Additionally, in the scatters library you will find some pre-made scatter setups which make use of rocks by the same author. Thanks again. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.